The Who and Garth Brooks, they're drawing thousands of fans to the Queen City. Garth Brooks put on his first show tonight. His second is tomorrow night. That's right. Reporter Jake Ryle is live at the banks right now with the excitement these events, of course, are bringing. Well, guys, I think I'm as about as close to the excitement as I want to get. There's a barricade behind me, a street behind me, and then a sea of people here at the banks. It is exciting. It is a live down here right now. 100,000 plus are expected for three major concerts this weekend. The first one, Garth Brooks at Paul Brown Stadium. It just wrapped up. Fans we spoke with, they came from all over just to come to the Queen City. Country comes to the city. Garth Brooks tonight. I've been trying to see him since Look at our friends that we met. You didn't have to look too far for the cowboy boots and hats. They're ready for the hits. 20,000 Friday, another 70,000 Saturday. He's down to earth. He's genuine. He has the emotion. Amanda Johnson is here from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Garth Brooks puts on the most amazing show ever. And what she's doing now is looking forward to this weekend. Oh my gosh. Every time he puts out a concert list, I'm on it. I love to see all his tours. Some, like Sean Curtis, say the weekend of concerts provides opportunity for his family to come together. I mean, Garth Brooks is almost like Elvis, you know, in the country music thing. So, and we've been locked up. I mean, we were we had a lot of plans to do concerts last year, and all of them got canceled. So, we're pretty excited. We want to see him. If you've ever played here, this is its own place. 100%. And I know you're really close to Louisville and Lexington, but the crowds are totally different. Uh, they know how to party here for sure, and they do not stop. It's like, surely you've got to get tired at some point, but I've never known a Cincinnati crowd to get tired yet. Garth Brooks was set to play here in the Queen City last year. It was rescheduled three times before ultimately being canceled. COVID had other plans. If any town has waited yeah. their time, this is it. Now, tomorrow's concert is technically sold out, but secondary tickets do remain online. And you know what? It is going to be bumping here at the banks all weekend. Guys. Well, so Jake, I have a question. So what happens tomorrow if the thunder rolls figuratively and literally here at the same time and lightning strikes? I'm going to have to have two pina coladas after that pun right there. I can tell you that. Hey, you know, they mentioned that in the Garth Brooks press conference that uh, there were severe storms at Yankee Stadium. Basically, they had to evacuate the stadium 45 minutes before the storms, and then they waited until 45 minutes after the storm passed. So hopefully that won't be the case tomorrow, but there are surely going to be a lot of happy fans here at the banks. For now, reporting live at the banks, Jake Ryle, WCBO 9 News.